another bonus art video for you guys this week. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my recent purchases from dickblick.com. It's an art supply website. It's where I get virtually all of my art supplies, especially anything Copic related. I always order from dickblick.com. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them in any way. I just really like their website and they always have really good prices. So I always recommend their site if you're looking for a good deal. Plus, I really trust their shipping and everything like that. So, I placed an order. I ordered some new markers, some new marker refills, and some new liners. So, I wanted to go through and kind of just show you guys what I got and inform you guys about the sales that they recently had and everything like that. As this video is going up, I'm sorry, I don't know if the sales are still going on or anything like that. So, you're just going to have to check that for yourselves, but I will have the site linked down below for you guys to make it nice and easy. Alright, so the first thing I want to share with you guys are the four Copic sketch markers that I picked up. I only picked up four. These are four that I do not have already in my collection, and I just felt like adding some new colors, and they're all kind of along the same theme. Um, they're all very desaturated colors. I don't have enough of those in my collection. I feel like I have a lot of really bright and bold colors or really pale and pastel colors, but I kind of wanted these to throw in the mix. So the first one I have is R83 Rose Mist. It's just a very desaturated kind of light to medium pink shade, so I'm excited for that one. Then I have B91 Pale Bluish Gray, grayish, grayish blue, pale grayish blue. And I have this because I have B95, which I love, but I would like something a little bit lighter, but still very desaturated. This would pair really well with my grayscale markers. Then I have BG96 Bush. I got this to pair with my BG72 and my BG78 kind of colors. I thought this would be nice to throw in the mix as well. It looks like it's going to be a little bit more green than those ones, which is also kind of nice. And then I picked up V99 Aubergine, and this is just a really dark, desaturated violet color. So I'm excited to add those to my color chart and then start using them. Okay, so now I'm going to go over the Copic refills that I picked up. These are all the 25cc refills, that just like the standard size, and I ordered eight, but I received nine, and I'll explain that. I paid for eight though, which is cool, that's fine, so, um, I want, but I wanted to mention that the Copic refills, when I ordered them, were on a really great sale, and I hope they weren't on clearance. Like, I hope dickblick.com is not discontinuing selling the Copic refills because that's the main thing that I order from there. But I got these for $4.58 a piece, which is cheaper than the sketch markers themselves. These retail for $5.24. So the fact that the refills are cheaper than the markers is crazy, like that should never happen. Like it's kind of like how diesel gas should never be cheaper than regular gas. And like when it is, you're like, what? <laughs> like, you know, it's weird. So I picked up nine of these. Um, yeah, I'll explain that. So the first color that I have is E07 Light Mahogany. I use this to color my red and auburn hair. Beauties, pretty much just Barbara Gordon, aka that girl, because I draw her a lot. I've actually run out of this. I've also run out of E08 Brown. I use this for the same reason. So these were necessary. <laughs> I also picked up R20 Blush. This is just a nice pale pink shade. I keep throwing things. I need to I need to chill out. Um, the next one I got is RV11 Pink. This is a very old marker in my collection that needs to be revived. So that's why I picked this one up. Next, I picked up YG91 Putty. This is a nice kind of grayish green shade. It's really cool. Again, it's very desaturated. And then I also picked up YG95 Pale Olive. This is also one of my favorite and most used greens. Then I also picked up G21 Lime Green. This isn't really a lime green color. It's much more of like a pastel green. But I have been using this a lot, so I decided to pick up another one. And then I have two B95 refills. This is light grayish cobalt. And I ordered one, but I got two. I paid for one, but I got two. So I don't I don't really know what I'm going to do about that yet. So yeah, 
All right, and the last things that I picked up in this haul were five new Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner pens, and these are to add into my 10 set that I have reviewed for my channel before. I won these in Lemia Crescent's giveaway not too long ago. And I had mentioned in that review that I would have liked to have just a few additional colors to kind of supplement this set. And I have since ordered other fine liners in the past, like I've ordered a gray and I've ordered a purple and stuff like that. And I've tried to get a lighter blue that's a little bit more gray, which has been a struggle because Dick Book's website has these color names really weird. Plus there's not color names on the pens themselves. So that can be a little confusing and a little bit hard to figure out which one you want because supposedly this one in this pack is light blue it looks much more like it would be aqua in my opinion but what do i know apparently this is light blue so i've had a heck of a time trying to track down the lighter more grayish blue but i was able to do it successfully this time in the past i've just ended up ordering duplicates of this one because apparently this is light blue but it's definitely not you can see the comparison between the two this one is light blue and then this one is i think i don't know it says this one is light blue this time but in the pack this is supposed to be light blue so it's really confusing but i finally got this one in my collection i have a whole spectrum of blues now in the Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liners. So I got two more to add to my collection. I got this one and this one, whatever those are. Then I also got kind of an olive green color. Yeah, this is called olive green. <laughs> I got a magenta color or mauve. What is this? Yeah, dark mauve. Okay. Yeah, so I got like this kind of purpley pink color. And then I got a brown. This is called brown um and i liked this one because it had a little bit more like orange than the brown that came in the 10 set and i just thought this would be nice for inking like skin tones or hair or something like that it's not as harsh as this brown so that completes my haul for this video um i hope you guys liked this definitely check out dick book's website i hope they still have the same sales going on as when i ordered i know this video is going up like a month after i'm actually receiving these products and i apologize for that but hopefully that will give dick book some time to restock some of their items that were out of stock when i ordered so thank you guys so much for watching if you like haul videos be sure you give them a thumbs up i know i've been doing a lot of them lately on my channel um that hasn't really been intentional it's just been kind of an accumulation of things that i picked up recently and it happens i don't know um so again thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye